I've just received a package from overseas. First one I've ever received, so I thought, like everyone else, I would do an unwrapping. It's been sent to me by Sandrammer. Now, Sandrammer is a bloke I would describe as, a, as an old-style, uh, Navy-educated foundryman. He has a channel. Uh, it's worth checking out, uh, and I'll leave a link to it below in the description and also as an information card uh, on this video. Um, it may surprise some people to realise that the Navy was involved in foundry, but indeed they were. I have actually seen a um, movie of them running a cupola that they'd set up uh, during the war on one of the islands during the Second World War, um, and they built the thing up out of old um, oil drums welded together. And they have even produced a book, this, the United States Foundry Manual. Now, you can still get this book. It's well worth getting. It's cheap, uh, and it has a lot of basic nitty-gritty techniques, the equipment you need, how you actually go about the physical business of making a mould. I do warn you, however, that it's fairly old. I mean, this is uh, off the 1944 original, republished in 1957. And as such, technically, it's a bit, well, it's a bit out of date. So to balance that, go out and buy this. It's the latest one by uh, Professor John Campbell. It's uh, quite thin, quite cheap, quite easy to read, unlike his earlier books. And... This gives you the more technical aspects of running and gating and that sort of thing. If you combine both of these books and you follow them, I think you'll do pretty well at making moulds and making pretty good castings. Anyway, look, let's get this package open. Now what it is, is a wrapping tool. And we'll just rip it open here. Da -da 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 -da. Where are we? Uh. All the way from the USA, as they say. Okay. Ah. Little note from him, I'll read later. <laughs> ah. Oh, if I can get it out. Right. Bloody hell, you've got to be a Philadelphia lawyer and a safe cracker to get into this. Ah. Wow. Oh, blimey, it's all heat sealed. Here we go. Right, now, this you use in combination with a wrapping bar. Now, here's a pattern in, in a sand mould. And here's a wrapping bar. And you simply use this, putting it in the hole in the middle, and tapping it like that, and swinging around until you've got the pattern nice and loose, which as you can see this one is now. Use either end depending, I guess, on size of the pattern and whatever. I guess the smaller end would be better for this one. Now we just whack a little screw in the middle here. And if I've wrapped it enough, it'll sort of come out. And there we go. And that's the use of the wrapping bar. Quite nice indeed. Very nice thing and, and it will uh, join my collection of tools that I always have uh, beside me when I mould. Now, in return, I'm going to send him a pattern for a taper sprue. And also we're going to send him the male and female shape of what a modern pouring basin looks like. Um, and this one's fairly small, it's only 30 mil diameter and 30 deep, and it probably needs to be a bit bigger. But you wind up with this sort of shape, where you pour your metal into here, it comes over the top and down to the sprue, and this keeps the sprue full. And if you use this sort of thing in conjunction with a tapered sprue like that, you're, you're well on the way to following uh, Campbell's uh, advice. And this sort of thing is instrumental in helping you make a half-decent casting. Okay, I should get that off in the post in the next few days, but remember to check out Sandrammer's channel. As I say, it's interesting. Uh, he's old school, but there's nothing wrong with that. 